my first question is uh, you are a psychotherapist you are a psychologist and you lecture in schools what exactly gave gave you the spark that idea to make documentaries like this Uh, well, uh, I'm a director and uh, re yes, I'm uh, also a psychologist that works uh, in the school. So I realized the idea to uh, make uh, this uh, short uh, video because uh, uh, working uh, in school uh, with uh, uh, young, with uh, adolescents, uh, I've known about this uh, phenomenon of a challenge. So people uh, uh, that... Uh, Um, make violence uh, between themselves uh, and uh, then uh, um, show this kind of violence uh, in, uh, in YouTube, for example, in Internet. But uh, on the same time, I've read and uh, I've seen uh, documentaries and photos about uh, the situation of radical camps that now really exists for young uh, people in uh, countries, uh, for example, uh, Ukraine, uh, Poland, and uh, uh, Hungary. So I have had this uh, um, idea of uh, a dystopian future where uh, the challenge are uh, um, in united with uh, these uh, radical camps. And uh, I had uh, the idea of of uh, what uh, uh, young people uh, uh, can do in uh, in the future uh, i've um, seen some documentaries about uh, this uh, radical camps uh, and uh, i was shocked uh, because uh, i've seen uh, these photos and uh, the, the, the the videos the photos uh, uh, seems like uh, normal photos of uh, summer camps but they had also weapons so it was Uh, um, very strange for me uh, to see uh, people of seven years old uh, or uh, 15 years old uh, with uh, uh, weapons uh, and uh, I have uh, the, the vision of a future where uh, this uh, young where there are training for all young children from uh, an ultranationalist point of view. And uh, this is uh, mm, um, a dangerous situation now also in Europe, uh, because uh, in Europe now we are some racist uh, parties. Uh, there is uh, racism against uh, immigrants, uh, against uh, people. So I wanted to reveal the situation that now we live in Europe. Imagine something of terror that can happen in the future if this kind of parties can have the power. And the situation is dangerous because the parents of young have no idea of what can happen. Because reading the interviews of the parents, I've read that parents are happy, are glad, because with this kind of radical summer camp, uh, there is someone that can educate uh, uh, children, that can educate people. And this is uh, terrible because this is not uh, a kind of education that we can give uh, to, to people because uh, it's a fascist, it's a ultranationalist uh, education. And uh, I think uh, speaking with people, uh, working with families and children, uh, that uh, it could be uh, a future, a terrible uh, future, uh, Uh, because uh, now the parents in Europe have some problems to give morality, to give education to young children. Like, for example, the mother of Julia in the short radical camp, because uh, we see the mother uh, where that does not give uh, uh, morality education to her daughter because uh, uh, she think just to herself uh, because uh, she wants to show that she is rich even she is not rich and uh, in Europe uh, there are some uh, a lot of poor people that want to show that they are rich when uh, uh, the mother of Julia go around with the shopping bag uh, with uh, 
a labyrinth with a logo, uh, I can see that uh, this is a situation that in Italy we see. There are uh, um, women that go around in the city, in Milan, in Rome, uh, in Bologna, with shopping bags of uh, Gucci, Prada, Valentino, where uh, inside there is nothing, but okay. they want uh, just to show that uh, they are rich, even uh, they are not rich, uh, because uh, in Italy now we have a not a good uh, situation uh, uh, in economy. Uh, so I, I thought uh, uh, that's kind of mothers, that ca that's kind of fathers, what can give uh, to young? Uh, nothing absolutely nothing and when there is nothing in the heart and in the head of young people uh, then anti-democratic parties anti-democratic group can give uh, to them uh, the ideology so i, I wanted to reveal uh, reveal these facts and uh, to give uh, to people that uh, the future could be very very uh, dangerous for all of us uh, for adults for young uh, for immigrants grants for all of us and so we we have to fight uh, against this uh, kind uh, of future and i think that cinema festival are a good place uh, where we can show a terrible future in order to avoid uh, it so this is was my idea to camp. it's wonderful uh, sara uh, so uh, what i would like to ask you uh, I believe you have visited some war territories also. Uh, the actual uh, uh, place where uh, these wars, uh, these uh, this radicalization is taking place, is it? Uh, have you been to actual war scenarios? Yes, yes. Um, I've um, I've been, uh, um, for example, in Ukraine uh, some years because uh, before the war, and uh, I've seen that in Ukraine, for example, there is a problem <coughs> about uh, ultranationalism. Uh, and after the war, I've been in uh, Donbass, so in the east part of uh, of uh, Ukraine, where now there is a war about media in Europe uh, do not speak uh, because they, they speak nothing about the war uh, in Donbass. Uh, I've been uh, uh, there uh, three times uh, and uh, I've uh, realized some uh, documentaries uh, about uh, the war uh, in Donbass uh, and uh, I've uh, seen uh, uh, this uh, situation. There is uh, uh, ultra, uh, ultra nationalism against uh, anti-fascist people because uh, now in Donbass uh, there are uh, Donbass and the Lugansk People Republic, so anti-fascist republic against um, uh, against um, fascism and against anti-imperialism because uh, they fight anti uh, against uh, capitalism and against anti-imperialism. And uh, I think that the situation that that we can see in a, a radical camp is uh, are the consequence of imperialism. The, there are the consequences of capitalism because with capitalism the main target of people is to be rich is to buy is to get more but i don't want to see in a society uh, with uh, capitalism is god i don't want this kind of god i i want i would like a society when uh, where people can co cooperate and to be together I, I i want this kind of society with this future, uh, so I want to fight uh, against capitalism and uh, anti-imperialists that uh, arrive from uh, uh, um, USA and uh, from uh, uh, Europe. I don't like uh, this kind uh, of uh, of society. Uh, so I've been there. I've been in Donbass, uh, in Ukraine, and uh, I've seen uh, all of this situation. Uh, and uh, my short video is uh, uh, a different uh, way uh, to to reveal the the situation uh, with a narrative and uh, not uh, with a documentary. Okay, Sarah, you come from the land of uh, Sofia Loren, <laughs> yes. Leonardo Bortolucci, Vittorio <laughs> De Sica, Michelangelo, Michelangelo Antonioni, so many of them who are, uh, I mean, known worldwide. 
so uh, if i have to ask you which is the director whose work you like the most italian directors oh and the movie oh uh, i i like uh, um, i like you see, you you have said uh, victor de sica uh, i very like the directors of uh, the ne italian neorealism um, so uh, victor de sica but also pierpaolo pasolini uh, i really like and uh, i like uh, um, a way of cinema with uh, no uh, big budget no not big money like was the cinema in italy after the war because after the war in italy we had uh, no money but now also we have no money in italy not much uh, so uh, my cinema is a cinema with a low budget, uh, with not uh, much money like independent cinema. And uh, all uh, the big director, I'm not a big director, but they were, uh, Italian big director started to uh, realize uh, cinema with not much money, but with big ideas. And so I think that uh, this is what they have teached to me, that if you have the idea if uh, uh, you you are idealist, if you have the you have the heart, uh, you can really realize. Uh, movies, short documentaries, because uh, all I've done is not uh, with much uh, money, but uh, all I've done now is uh, around uh, the world, documentaries and uh, uh, short. So I think that if you have heart and ideas, you can realize uh, cinema, even if uh, you have uh, no money. And uh, this kind of cinema was the Italian cinema or of, uh, for example, uh, Vittorio De Sica or uh, Pierpaolo Pasolini, uh, that are uh, the, the, directors, uh, the directors that uh, I, I really love uh, um, in my life. So a cinema with, uh, you have uh, not uh, uh, professional actors, uh, not big uh, light, not uh, uh, expenses, video cameras, but uh, uh, where uh, you can uh, go around uh, the place uh, in Italy and uh, in a guerrilla style you can shoot uh, and uh, uh, realize uh, uh, very very fast what uh, you 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 want to communicate because uh, for me is uh, very important to communicate what uh, uh, I have and uh, I think it can uh, arrive even if we have not uh, be, we have not got uh, big money now so this is <laughs> the teaching of Italian uh, cinema after uh, the, the, the war, the second okay. war. Okay, Sarah, since uh, you're a psychologist, I'm sure you can read my mind. And next question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what so is, good. <laughs> what's, what's your future plan? What's the, uh, any, any feature film you are planning? Any story you have thought of? Any, any particular novel you would like to work on, uh, novel which you would like to make into a movie? Yes, uh, my future plan, uh, about my future plan, I can say that now I'm uh, uh, writing a screenplay um, about a new short, a uh, new short that uh, is uh, about uh, uh, COVID, about coronavirus, uh, about uh, what people with uh, mental problems, with mental disease have, uh, um, have lived during uh, the lockdown. Because there is a, a great problem of uh, my my next short, my next, next screenplay is uh, about uh, people with the mental disease uh, have lived during the lockdown in um, coronavirus uh, time. Uh, because uh, in Italy, uh, no money are given to uh, psychologists uh, to to mental health. Uh, um, public and mental health in order to help help people. So there were a lot of uh, people with mental health 
group that were completely alone in their houses. And no one speak about this, the, the, the problem that they, they had. Mm -hmm. Now uh, they're not good, that they are sick. We have to help uh, them. And I want, uh, I'm writing a screenplay about the problems of these people that, uh, that uh, were completely alone. I repeat, because the Italian government uh, didn't uh, give nothing, give no money uh, to uh, psychologists of uh, the public services in order to um, help those uh, people. And uh, I want to know about these stories because uh, uh, when people are alone, where there are um, se mental health centers to help them, then uh, there can happen some, uh, uh, some problems, big problems. And uh, after the short I'm thinking about a new uh, documentary and uh, I'm asking to myself uh, where uh, I will be. Uh, my heart is in Palestine, but uh, also in Armenia. I'm very interested about what happened now in Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, so um, I, I wanted to realize uh, uh, something new uh, about, uh, I think, those uh, places. But uh, now I, I'm thinking about because uh, I'm afraid that uh, there will be new lockdown uh, because of coronavirus. Uh, so um, I, I want to wait uh, more for more time and decide where uh, I will go. But I want to work like director and uh, like a psychologist in the same time. So uh, all of us from uh, in this valley, uh, you know, film festival, we wish you all the best for your uh, future endeavors. And uh, we also have. Uh, our film director, our, our, our festival director, Harsh Narayan with me. Uh, Harsh, would you like to ask uh, Sarah uh, any questions? Uh, no, nothing. You have asked everything. Uh, but I just want to give a comment. It's a very beautiful film, Sarah. And uh, you have uh, ventured into a topic which uh, people uh, seldom uh, uh, they, uh, fear uh, from getting into this uh, kind of uh, subject. Uh, people, I have not seen any film any from anywhere in the world which has touched upon this topic also, and which has, uh, a filmmaker who has uh, gone beyond his uh, comfort zone to research on su such uh, uh, subject. And so, it's a very uh, uh, brave of you also to make such film. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Sarah. You. Thanks for joining us. Thanks uh, to you to be because uh, for invitation to your great festival. I'm very very honored. Yes. Thank you very much uh, to all uh, one of the best uh, festival in India. Thank you. Thank welcome, you very much. Welcome. Uh, Keep in touch. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.